Vayikra, Leviticus chapter 18. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Yisrael and say to them, I am Yahweh your Elohim. Do not do as they do in the land of Mitzrayim where you dwelt, and do not do as they do in the land of Kenaan where I am bringing you, and do not walk in their laws. Do my right rulings and guard my laws to walk in them. I am Yahweh, your Elohim. And you shall guard my laws and my right rulings, which a man does and lives by them. I am Yahweh. No one is to approach any one of his own flesh to uncover his nakedness. I am Yahweh. The nakedness of your father or the nakedness of your mother you do not uncover. She is your mother. You do not uncover her nakedness. The nakedness of your father's wife you do not uncover. It is your father's nakedness. The nakedness of your sister, the daughter of your father or the daughter of your mother, whether born at home or elsewhere, their nakedness you do not uncover. The nakedness of your son's daughter or your daughter's daughter, their nakedness you do not uncover, for theirs is your own nakedness. The nakedness of your father's wife's daughter, brought forth by your father, she is your sister, you do not uncover her nakedness. The nakedness of your father's sister, you do not uncover, she is your father's flesh. The nakedness of your mother's sister, you do not uncover, for she is your mother's flesh. The nakedness of your father's brother, you do not uncover, you do not approach his wife, she is your aunt. The nakedness of your daughter-in-law you do not uncover, she is your son's wife. You do not uncover her nakedness. The nakedness of your brother's wife you do not uncover, it is your brother's nakedness. The nakedness of a woman and her daughter you do not uncover, nor do you take her son's daughter or her daughter's daughter to uncover her nakedness. They are her relatives, it is wickedness. And do not take a woman as a rival to her sister to uncover her nakedness while the other is alive. And do not approach a woman to uncover her nakedness in her monthly separation of uncleanness. And do not have intercourse with the wife of your neighbor to defile yourself with her. And do not give any of your offspring to pass through to Molech. And do not profane the name of your Elohim. I am Yahweh. And do not lie with a male as with a woman. It is an abomination. And do not have intercourse with any beast to defile yourself with it. And a woman does not stand before a beast to mate with it. It is a perversion. Do not defile yourselves with all these, for by all these the nations are defiled, which I am driving out before you. Thus the land became defiled, therefore I punished it for its wickedness, and the land vomited out its inhabitants. But you, you shall guard my laws and my right rulings, and not do any of these abominations, the native nor stranger who sojourns among you, because the men of the land who were before you have done all these abominations, and thus the land became defiled. So let not the land vomit you out for defiling it as it vomited out the nations that were before you. For whoever does any of these abominations, those beings who do them shall be cut off from among their people. And you shall guard my charge so as not to do any of these abominable practices which were done before you, so as not to defile yourselves by them. I am Yahweh, your Elohim. Weikra, Leviticus, chapter 19. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to all the congregation of the children of Israel, and say to them, Be Kodesh, for I, Yahweh, your Elohim, am Kodesh. Each one of you should revere his mother and his father and guard my Shabbatot. I am Yahweh, your Elohim. Do not turn to idols and do not make for yourselves molded mighty ones. I am Yahweh, your Elohim. And when you bring a peace offering to Yahweh, bring it for your acceptance. It is eaten the same day you slaughter it and on the next day. And that which is left on the third day is burned with fire. 
So if it is eaten at all on the third day, it is abominable. It is not accepted. And he who eats it bears his wickedness, because he has profaned the Kodesh offering of Yahweh, and that being shall be cut off from his people. And when you reap the harvest of your land, do not completely reap the corners of your field or gather the gleanings of your harvest. And do not glean your vineyard or gather every grape of your vineyard. Leave them for the poor and the stranger. I am Yahweh, your Elohim. Do not steal. Do not lie. Do not deceive one another. And do not swear falsely by my name. And so profane the name of your Elohim. I am Yahweh. Do not oppress your neighbor, and do not rob the wages of him who is hired. It is not to remain with you all night until morning. Do not curse the deaf or put a stumbling block before the blind, but revere your Elohim, I am Yahweh. Do no unrighteousness in right ruling. Do not be partial to the poor or favor the face of the great, but rightly rule your neighbor in righteousness. Do not go slandering among your people. Do not stand against the blood of your neighbor. I am Yahweh. Do not hate your brother in your heart. Reprove your neighbor for certain and bear no sin because of him. Do not take vengeance or bear a grudge against the children of your people. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am Yahweh. Guard my laws. Do not let your livestock mate with another kind. Do not sow your field with mixed seed, and do not put a garment woven of two sorts of thread upon you. And when a man has intercourse with a woman who is a female servant engaged to a man, and who has not at all been ransomed nor redeemed, nor freedom given, there should be an inquiry. But they are not put to death because she was not free. And he shall bring his guilt offering to Yahweh to the door of the tent of appointment, a ram, as a guilt offering. And the Kohen shall make atonement for him with the ram of the guilt offering before Yahweh for his sin which he has done. And the sin which he has sinned shall be forgiven him. And when you come into the land and have planted all kinds of trees for food, then you shall reckon their fruit as uncircumcised. For three years it is as uncircumcised to you. It is not eaten. And in the fourth year all its fruit is Kodesh, praises to Yahweh. And in the fifth year you eat its fruit, so that it increases its yield to you. I am Yahweh, your Elohim. Do not eat with the blood. Do not practice divination or magic. Do not round the corner of your head, nor destroy the corner of your beard. And do not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor put tattoo marks on you. I am Yahweh. Do not profane your daughter by making her a whore, so that the land does not whore, and the land becomes filled with wickedness. Guard my Shabbatoth, and reverence my Mikdash. I am Yahweh. Do not turn to mediums, and do not seek after spiritists to be defiled by them. I am Yahweh, your Elohim. Rise up before the gray-headed, and you shall favor the face of an old man, and shall revere your Elohim. I am Yahweh. And when a stranger sojourns with you in your land, do not oppress him. Let the stranger who dwells among you be to you as the native among you. And you shall love him as yourself, for you were strangers in the land of Mitzrayim. I am Yahweh, your Elohim. Do no unrighteousness in right ruling, in measurement of length, in weight, or in measuring liquids. Have right scales, right weights, a right effa, and a right hin. I am Yahweh, your Elohim, who brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim. And you shall guard all my laws and all my right rulings and do them. I am Yahweh. Weikra, Leviticus chapter 20. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Say to the children of Yisrael, 
any man of the children of Yisrael, or of the strangers who sojourn in Yisrael, who gives any of his offspring to Molech, shall certainly be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones, and I, I shall turn my face against that man and shall cut him off from the midst of his people, because he has given of his offspring to Molech, so as to defile my Mikdash and to profane my Kodesh name. And if the people of the land at all hide their eyes from the man, as he gives any of his offspring to Molech, and they do not kill him, then I shall turn my face against that man and against his clan, and shall cut him off. And all who go whoring after him, even go whoring after Molech from the midst of their people. And the being who turns to mediums and to spiritists to go whoring after them, I shall turn my face against that being and cut him off from the midst of his people. And you shall kodosh yourselves, and shall be kodesh, for I am Yahweh, your Elohim, and you shall guard my laws and do them. I am Yahweh, who kodosh you. For everyone who curses his father or his mother shall certainly be put to death. He has cursed his father or his mother. His blood is on him. And a man who commits adultery with the wife of another man, who commits adultery with the wife of his neighbor, the adulterer and the adulteress shall certainly be put to death. And a man who lies with the wife of his father has uncovered the nakedness of his father. Both of them shall certainly be put to death. Their blood is upon them. And a man who lies with his daughter-in-law, both of them shall certainly be put to death. They have made confusion. Their blood is upon them. And a man who lies with a male as he lies with a woman, both of them have done an abomination. They shall certainly be put to death. Their blood is upon them. And a man who marries a woman and her mother, it is wickedness. They are burned with fire, both he and they, that there be no wickedness in your midst. And a man who has intercourse with a beast, he shall certainly be put to death in the beast you kill. And a woman who approaches any beast and mates with it, you shall kill the woman and the beast. They shall certainly be put to death. Their blood is upon them. And a man who takes his sister, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter, and sees her nakedness, and she sees his nakedness, it is a reproach, and they shall be cut off before the eyes of their people. He has uncovered his sister's nakedness. He bears his wickedness. And a man who lies with a woman during her sickness and uncovers her nakedness, he has laid bare her flow, and she has uncovered the flow of her blood. Both of them shall be cut off from the midst of their people. And do not uncover the nakedness of your mother's sister, nor of your father's sister, for that is laying bare one's own flesh. They bear their wickedness. And a man who lies with his uncle's wife, he has uncovered his uncle's nakedness. They bear sin, they die childless. And a man who takes his brother's wife, it is uncleanness. He has uncovered his brother's nakedness. They are childless. And you shall guard all my laws and all my right rulings and do them so that the land where I am bringing you to dwell does not vomit you out. And do not walk in the laws of the nation which I am driving out before you, for they do all these and therefore I loathed them. But I say to you, you are going to possess their land, and I myself give it to you to possess it, a land flowing with milk and honey. I am Yahweh, your Elohim, who has separated you from the peoples, and you shall make a distinction between clean beasts and unclean, and between unclean birds and clean and do not make yourselves abominable by beast or by bird or whatever creeps on the ground, which I have separated from you as unclean. And you shall be Kodesh to me, for I, Yahweh, am Kodesh, and have separated you from the peoples to be mine. And a man or a woman in whom there is a medium or who are spiritists shall certainly be put to death. They are to stone them with stones. Their blood is upon them.